Welcome back to Fire to Fork and welcome back to Harry's Bar. Well, welcome to Harry's Bar. It's the first ever episode I've done of this. So this is the back of my car, which is usually my bar. In fact, right here, it's actually got like my light here. The button says drinks light. And it's got a little picture of a cocktail because I like to make the odd cocktail at, at camp. Now this one is one, um, had a few people request that they want kind of a sweeter, fun dessert style cocktail. And I thought, what's great? in the evening with a, um, with a you know, bit of desserty stuff, a little bit of coffee. Everyone likes, well, most, a lot of people like an espresso martini. I thought, let's mix it up. Let's do a tiramisu cocktail. So, but I want to add a camping twist to it. So the way you add a camping twist, well, I'll show you, I'll show you. Don't forget to comment somewhere in this video down below on YouTube, on this platform, not on a different platform, to win a copy of my cookbook. I'll draw it every week. Wait for the code word in the video. Anyway, the base of it is, this is my cocktail shaker, which is just a Yeti mug, um, and another stainless steel mug that fits into it. So one part Bailey's, which is a, an Irish cream liqueur, one part Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur, some vodka, a little bit of ice. If you don't have ice, it's not the end of the world, but try and keep your, your, your spirits cold. So keep them in the fridge. Not, you can't freeze these, but you can freeze your vodka, which I always do. Well, it doesn't freeze, obviously. It's high alcohol. Bit of vodka. Whack your finger in there. Shake it like a wanky bartender. Do some obnoxious wacky thing to get it out. There you go. Pick a cup. I'm gonna go something thick walled because um, it's a cold drink. And I want it to stay cold. These are the fighter fork cups that I sell. Shameless plug. Then, marshmallows. You can obviously roast these by the fire and I recommend getting the other person to roast them by the fire. Usually one person making, one person drinking. So, but I'm just gonna be lazy and just get my little Zippo blowtorch out. Um, this is the great thing about these Kayon tables is that they're stainless. So you can just blast them with heat. Put hot things on them, put pots on them, whatever. And they don't take up any room which is awesome. And you can look at this crap I've got in here. Got a radio, I got some wire, got a washing up kit, a, an insulated cup. All right, pretty blackened, nice and creamy inside. Chuck them on top and then, just to make them extra fancy, I had this in the freezer, because it'll grate better, but it's just any old chocolate you've, you've got lying around. Uh, I do recommend a dark chocolate to go on the top, just because it is already a sweet drink. You can grate, you can just cut it up, but I've, I've got a grater here, so. Look at that. I reckon. All right, let's try this thing out. Oh, it is sweet. So if you want to make it less sweet, uh, definitely add some milk or some cream. That'd be really good. If you like a sweet drink, this is perfect. This is perfect. I know a lot of the girls I go camping with would love this sort of thing. Um, so it's a good drink. Bloody good drink. It does remind me of tiramisu. Now let's try this. Oh. Oh yeah. That's the highlight. Mmm! That bit of char. Oh, yeah, they're not going to waste. Mmm! Mmm! <clears throat> oh! That's a good dessert. Really good dessert. Alright, on to the next one. Whoa! So, <laughs> I just poured it out because I've got three boozy cocktails to make and I don't want to be drunk by the end of it. And I've got to film another video tonight and I don't want to be groggy and whatever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll just tip that on the fire. That fire just went <laughs> <laughs> flying up like a demon. So it's definitely got some grog in it. All right, next, we are going to do a spiced apple cider. Now, the way you do this is a bit different to how you might think because you don't use any apple cider. <laughs> so this is also a warm one. So I'm gonna use 
one of these guys, which is my billy, which is just a really, really cool looking billy. Um, it's the most impractical shape. It takes up way too much room. And yet I carry it everywhere because I just love it. <laughs> it's from Osbro. <laughs> I've had it for ages and I just like, oh, it's so stupid and so cool. And I just, yes, it just makes me happy. All right, uh, apple juice. I'm gonna put about a cup of apple juice in there. Now, this is usually one you'd share. So um, we'll do a couple of cups so that the recipe kind of makes more sense. I'm gonna put in the recipe like four cups so that you can make a decent batch of it because there's no point going through all this to just have one. A uh, bit of nutmeg, I'm just gonna put one in there. Um, you don't wanna overpower this. You can also, if you can find them, but they're not at every supermarket, uh, you can get this stuff called mulling spices, which is for mulled wine. Uh, and it's a pre-mixed version of all this. So, look, if you buy this, you can make this a heap of times. You know, I'd recommend just pre-mixing it a little bit um, so you've got this little collection of spices. I'm gonna put a few cloves in there, so just like a, a pinch of cloves. I'm gonna put one cinnamon stick in there. And then, that says aniseed star, not star anise. Does it smell like, is that the same thing? Nope, smells like licorice. I bought the wrong thing. I'm not gonna put that in there. You can also chuck in some allspice as well if you want to get fancy. Uh, but yeah, you usually chuck star anise in, so this will taste like the right thing, but without star anise. Then, all you do, mix him up, and just put him on the fire for a, oh, literally just to warm it up. Chuck it on there for two or three minutes. And if you're a bit slow like me, wait till you've already put it on to get yourself like a quarter of a cup of OJ. Freshly squeezed is best if you can carry it. If not, just get a like 100% orange juice thing. I needed an orange for something else. So that's why I've got it. And actually, I've just thought of this. I know how well ginger and apple goes. I'm gonna put a little slice of ginger in there. All right, that's been on for about 10 minutes. I got caught up being a smug bastard on social media telling everyone that I was drinking cocktails midweek and forgot about the cocktails. So if this is shit, that's completely my fault. Okay, so I've also put a little bit of effort in. I've staged this. Oh, that's <laughs> it's straight up the schnoz. It's, oh, that's a proper bit of steam. I've staged this a little bit so it looks fancy, even though it's just me. Oh yeah, you're supposed to strain this out? I didn't do that. You're supposed to strain it so you don't get all the bloody pips. Not pips, it's a spice. Okay, look, I even staged a bit of star aniseed, even though it's star aniseed, just so it looks like star anise, because I'm a fraud. And anyone who buys my next cookbook will now know that that is a fraudulent bit of star aniseed. Won't they? All right, bit of B-roll. Oh, wait, no important bit, a bit of bourbon. So the way you make this boozy is you add the bourbon at the end. The good thing is you don't boil off the alcohol. So you don't waste it. You don't want to pay for alcohol and then boil it off and then not get it. So probably you kind of want to add like a shot and a half to that, to a, cu a cup of it. Yeah, all right, do some bay roll. Make sure it's not too hot. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you gotta try this. It's a little bit hot. It's really nice. That is a seriously nice drink. If, if Again, if this is too sweet for you, you can just dilute it with a little bit of water, but it's, I mean, I don't have a very sweet tooth and this is delicious. What it might even benefit from is like a tiny bit more fresh Orange? Even like a more tart orange would be really good. Yeah. Get this, get this, make this. Oh, the ginger. Definitely do the ginger. I'm gonna put more in. Oh, more ginger. I'm, I'm gonna change my recipe to show that it should have more ginger because that is really good. Oh, yes. All right, on to the next one. All right, last of all is 
quite possibly my favourite cocktail, a Negroni. But we're going to do this one a little bit differently. And we're going to start with the garnish. So the garnish for this is a wedge of orange, which I'm then going to salt. So, drop that in a bit of salt. Salt and cocktails just go so well, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to put this on the grill. We're just going to put this straight on here until it has some grill marks. Next, I brought this from home just because I want to be fancy and because I can. So, I made myself a circular ice cube. This is completely unnecessary. An ice cube is great, but if you've got a circular one, they're pretty cool. I even brought myself a glass because I like the look of a Negroni in a glass. So, sue me. Circular ice cube. Uh, you want some sweet vermouth. So you want about 30 mil of that. About 30 mil of Campari. And then 30 mil of a gin. I've gone for little things Signature gin, which is like a, <clears throat> it's a local gin, but it's, it's not a, like not a botanical or a navy strength or a London dry. It's just a good, solid, standard gin, I guess. Um, and 30 mil of that, probably got a little bit more, a little bit more of that. Then give that a mix around. Then we go and check on my orange. All right, one scorched orange. Got kind of grill marks. That. Pretty flash. Oh, B roll. <laughs> this is my favorite. It just is. I could drink a hundred of these. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, comment somewhere in the description for my cookbook um, with a code word. <clears throat> and oh, I'm, I'm going to finish that one for sure. I can't, that's, it's, it's illegal not to. Uh, it's just it's so good. All right. And also comment down below a cocktail you would like me to make a variant of and I'll do it, because I'm going to do thinking about writing a little cocktail book for the bush. I think it'll be a good, a good thing. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Right, see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>